Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Yes, today is the match day. Today is Wednesday and it's going to be live from Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful Mercedes-Benz Stadium. More than 75,000 people. So it's going to be amazing. Amazing game of football against Chelsea Chelsea against uh, Newcastle United, excuse me. And this game is the Champions League level. We are not taking anything lightly here. I know that on paper, Newcastle United are better than Chelsea because they qualified for the Champions League. They've been together for a few years. They are more complete team than Chelsea. But we are Chelsea, man. We have nothing to lose. We have a lot of youngsters who want to prove the manager that they deserve to be there so this game is going to be awesome join us live on soccer iq youtube channel we're gonna be live watch along call in show you know everybody got the right to call before the game during the game and after the game you don't have to pay us anything english premier league All right, my people, this competition here is official. The Premier League Summer Series. This is the first edition. So you have a chance to win a trophy at the end. And I think the trophy is going to be more legit than the Community Shield, the Audi Cup, the Emirate Cup, and all those little cups that uh, people play during the preseason this one is organized by the premier league so pochettino might win a title here if we win all our games or if we beat uh, we beat newcastle and probably draw with uh, fulham we might win a trophy and this kind of uh, trophies you call it a trophy if you win it if you don't win it it's a mickey mouse glorify friendly cup you know just like the community shield right so this one got even more games than the community shield that got only one game so i'm trying to give some uh <laughs> some flowers to the summer series here so we're gonna play against newcastle on wednesday and then the next game and the last one is gonna be against fulham we're gonna have time to talk about the fulham game will you explain me how that was offside no i'm asking you seriously explain offside to me it made no sense so you see the table <laughs> you even have the table chelsea on top with three point plus one goal difference so we are the same with uh, fulham because they also got plus one so we are equal here newcastle got one point aston villa got one point brighton zero point brightford zero point so yeah we are cooking people so let's see a little bit details here about the game so if you don't know it's gonna be on peacock if you live in the us it's gonna be on peacock or nbc sport network for other part of the world i don't know you have to google <laughs> try to google and find out when your game is going to be played so let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the game in the last few games that we played against newcastle i think we beat them twice they beat us no we beat them once in the last three games i'm talking about we beat them once they beat us once and we drew the last time that we played at Stamford Bridge. But this time around, my friend, I think Chelsea are just going to do it. We're going to do it. We don't have uh, like uh, 
the amazing amazing squad at the moment uh, people are not taking us seriously but this is good because when people don't take chelsea seriously it's exactly the time that they they react and and confuse people so this season watch out no big names but we can surprise many many people we are playing against newcastle who are the champions league level but we are chelsea okay my people this is my lineup for the game i'm gonna just remind you because i've already made another video but because we have some new information somebody told me that uh, Noni Madweke is carrying a knock, so he's not going to be able to play the game. And after the press conference, you kind of uh, have a different vision about who's going to start. So if you haven't watched the press conference from Mauricio Pochettino and Rhys James, the link is going to be in the description down below. Very interesting, but it looks like a... Rhys James being confirmed the captain of Chelsea without really confirming, if you know what I mean. Like, he's like uh, the captain elect, you know, elect captain, Mr. Chelsea, through and through. Hopefully, he can stay fit because you need your captain inside the pitch, not in the hospital. So I will continue with Kepa Arisabalaga. Don't ask me why, because we have to give him some confidence. It doesn't look like we are going for another goalkeeper. We have to go for other priority. Chile need to start. Cowell, Thiago Silva, and Captain James. Kukureya, yeah, in the midfield with Enzo, because we have to find him a new position. We have to think outside the box, because we're not going to sell him. And we, we, we're not going to make him sit on the bench all the time. There are so many people in his position. Lewis Hall and also Jan Madsen. But Yashil when he comes back. So he doesn't have a chance there. So try him in the midfield. Fight and win! Uh, three behind the striker. I said Mod Mikalo Modric. Nkunku, and I said Noni Madweke, but because Noni Madweke is carrying a, a knock, let's wait and see. So he's, I'm going to put Sterling from the right hand side so they can start switching with Modric. And let's see, because I want to really see what Raheem Sterling can do because he's on a ridiculous amount of money and he's been like the weakest link in this preseason. Give him more game times. And. Uh, Jackson, of course, the king of pop, Nicholas Jackson in front. And don't worry, because we can make up to 11 subs, so you don't have to complain where is, where is, where is. There is a second half. And also, I don't want to play Conor Gallagher anymore if he's not in the plan. So you have to give a chance to the players that will stay with us and will start the season. If you're thinking already about selling Kano Gallagher, what the point of playing him? I don't see any any point here. But let's wait and see what's going to happen. My score prediction still 2-1 Chelsea because I think uh, we are getting better, but also Newcastle are getting better and they are more a team than Chelsea. So 2-1 Chelsea, Nicholas Jackson to score and also Enzo Fernandez to score a golasso. For them, I don't know. Joelinton. <laughs> uh I, I don't care who's gonna score for them, but I think it's gonna be another howler from Kepa Arisabalaga. No, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think and what is your Starling eleven and your formation and all the good stuff. <laughs> 